CataractCoach.com quiz. Why is there a capsule or wrinkle? And how do we fix it? This is an interesting case. Let's get right to the eye well insertion. Here comes our eye well. It's a three piece lens, monofocal, acrylic lens, hydrophobic acrylic. We're going to deliver it right there in the capsule bag. That's the correct orientation. Remember, the haptic should be in the anti S orientation. Delivering that second haptic in the capsule bag, it's beautifully centered. Nice overlap of the capsule rexus. Looks pretty good. There are no wrinkles now. Let's put in the IA probe and remove the viscoelastic. So we'll go in here. Let's go under the IOL. Remove all of that from the posterior surface of the IOL. Make sure the capsule bag is completely free of viscoelastic. Take out all the OVD. That looks great. Recentering the lens still looks beautiful, nicely centered in the capsule bag for sure. Let's remove the rest of the viscoelastic. And you can even see there's a good uh, overlap of that five millimeter capsule rexus on top of that six millimeter optic. The orientation of the haptics is fine. This looks all pretty good. And I think we're home free, right? Look carefully. You see a little bit of that wrinkle already developing. It's that diagonal wrinkle right on the posterior capsule. And there's the wrinkle again. So come out of the eye carefully, avoiding iris prolapse. There's the wrinkle. We can push the iris back in. Let's seal up the incision. And we see a capsular wrinkle there. Now, how do we get rid of this? What's the issue? If I hyperinflate the eye like this, the capsular wrinkle seems to disappear. But it won't stay that way. Here's the same eye after one month. One month post-op. Again, there's that capsular wrinkle right down the middle. Look carefully. There it is. Hmm... So what was different about this case? Well, first of all, the patient's very myopic. The lens used was a minus three diopter lens. And notice this lens has a six millimeter optic, but the haptic to haptic length is 13 millimeters. So we put the lens in the capture bag, the eye wall haptics are pushing outwards, which causes a large central capsular wrinkle. Despite being ultra myopic with a very, very long axial length, this patient didn't have an overly large anterior segment. In fact, her capsular bag diameter was relatively small. And so when we put the lens here, the pushing force of those haptics is causing that stress wrinkle in the middle of the poster capsule. What do we do about it? The answer is in most cases, nothing. As the capsular bag shrink wraps over the first few months in the post op period, it tends to shrink wrap and tighten, and that wrinkle naturally pulls out. And if at the three month mark the patient still has a wrinkle that's symptomatic, then we can do a YAG laser capsulotomy. Just keeping in mind that doing a YAG laser may have a little bit higher risks than someone like this who's so very myopic. I encourage you to check out cataractcoach.com, that is our website. I know you guys love the videos here on YouTube, but there's actually a full website where we send you a free email every day with a brand new video, right to your inbox, no need to hunt for it. Also, you can search very easily. You have a tough case coming up, shown here, a posterior polar case. Guess what? You can look up there, posterior polar, and find 10 cases to learn from before you do a beautiful job for your patient. Thanks for watching.